you want to be very careful with this ribbon cable because this ribbon cable actually is what controls your top controls here, your touchpad controls. Um, so with the screwdriver, we're going to pop the tabs out on the side. And may just, just use a little bit of finesse on it. And the, with a little wiggle, comes right out. So we're going to go ahead and set this off to the side. We don't need that piece right now. Now, next part we want to attack is the keyboard module. The keyboard comes apart. There are four screws. One, two, three, and four. These are an M2 by two, so they're a two millimeter they're fat. They're a fat screw. They're two millimeter is they're two, two millimeters thick on the head of the screw, and the thread length is two millimeters. You can set these in just about whatever bag you want because these are the only screws for this part of the laptop, and there's four of them, so you can't put them anywhere else. They're not going to fit anywhere else on the laptop. Okay, so I just set them off to the side. The keyboard is glued underneath, so it will take a little bit of force to pry it up. And you'll hear the, the, glue, the glue on the underside creak a little bit. Don't pull it too hard. If you pull it too hard, you'll rip the ribbon cable right out. So just pull up, just kind of wiggle underneath it. Put your hand underneath the keypad. And the keypad should come forward. You'll see on the back side we have another ribbon cable here. And again, it just comes right out. And there we have the keyboard. Setting that off to the side. Now the last piece we want to remove off this top part. Um, you have these cables here. They're running all the way through um, up over the audio bridge, up through and into the side of the LCD. These cables, you want to be very careful with them. If you sever them, you are not going to have wireless for the computer. And they just kind of come right out of the hole there. Carefully take them out of there brackets and we just set these off to the side. We're going to set these off to the side because they are going to be removed with the LCD. Then you have this connection here. This is your monitor and webcam connection. This is the connection here. We're just going to use our screwdriver and put it in the groove on the side of it and just twist. Once you do it on one side, it's pretty much easy to take it off the rest. And be very careful with this connector. Again, if you sever this, any of these connections inside, there's about uh, 30 tiny, tiny wires inside. Any of those get severed and you won't have a monitor and or webcam when you reassemble it. 